Um, uh, did you um, see much devastation when you, I mean, what, what happened when you came out of the shelters at the end? Of when the we came out of the shelters, um, well, thankfully, um, we didn't see a lot of devastation in our area. But the next day, you could see gaps in streets, a gap where a house had been mm -hmm. the, the night before. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes I would pick up pieces of shrapnel mm -hmm. in the street and save as uh, souvenirs. Mm -hmm. um, when did you leave Plymouth then? Well, my father, who had worked in the dockyard and had done firefighting at night, he unfortunately had a coronary and had to get out of Plymouth very quickly. So um, uh, he and my mother and I um, came up to Buckfast Lee because our next door neighbours at Plymouth had relatives there and had always told us about Buckfast Lee where they came for their holidays. And we were lucky enough to be taken in by some people here temporarily because my father had to stay in bed and I don't remember being here very long because I heard that my school was being evacuated to Cornwall and I said to him, oh I want to go with them please. So it was arranged that I met them in Plymouth only a few days later uh, with all my belongings to go to Cornwall. Um, I didn't think a lot about it. I didn't worry about it. I was just, uh, I just wanted to be with my friends and, and the people at school. So, and I remember we had to be at Plymouth to meet them one morning quite early. And of course there were no buses running early. And we didn't have a car in those days. And I can remember my mother and I hitching a lift on a lorry passing through Butfus Lee on the way to Plymouth and that's how I got down there to meet um, the school and then I can remember going on the train to Cornwall not knowing where we were going to stay and the train stopped at Truro that was going to be our home and we were taken from the train into a large hall and there were people there waiting to get their evacuees. And I can't remember, I don't know whether we were, they actually came along and sort of picked them out, I don't think, but I think there were lists of people who were willing to take evacuees and, and they had stated what um, sex they wanted and what age they wanted because they had children of their own. And um, I think I was one of the last to be um, billeted, but I was taken along to uh, a little terraced house and uh, um, where a mother, the mother and father had one daughter my age who went to Truro High School. And um, I always remember her saying to me afterwards, Oh, I was so relieved when I saw you walking up the path because I knew that you would be right, you know, to mm. be with us. And uh, I used to call them auntie and uncle and they were very kind to me. She was a, a piano teacher as it happened and I'd always wanted to learn to play the piano. So she gave me a few lessons but I, I don't think I was very good and uh, I don't think it lasted very long. So did you go to Truro High School as well then? Or? No, I didn't go to Truro High School because my school was, I was with my own oh, right. school so, people, you see. So they I can't been... remember, we must have taken over um, a large building, you know, and, and somehow or other had classrooms there and, you know. Yeah. Did you have any negative um, response from the people around about when you were an evacuee? Because some evacuees said the people were unfriendly. Oh no, 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 no. People were very, very kind. Mm. Um, yes, and and it was 
very nice. And of course, um, I wrote to my mother and father regularly, and they wrote to me and kept in touch and, um, and knew that I was all right. Um, but it, uh, after about 12 months, I began to get uh, a little unhappy and unsettled. Uh, although, the, um, you know, my foster parents were very kind. And, uh, um, it, it's, I don't know what happened really, but I think I had the chance to come back to Butfuslee because my parents had now found something more permanent. And um, and I I suddenly became more homesick, and I so I left Truro and came back to Butfuslee, and from here I finished off my education at Totnes High School. Um. So um, when was that? When did you leave school? So I uh, I can remember quite clearly VE Day, which was. Mm -hmm. May the 8th, was yeah. it, 1945, and um, and that happened to be the year that I'd just taken my school certificate, as it was then. Mm -hmm. So that was quite convenient, because then my parents and I went back to Plymouth. Mm -hmm. And I hadn't thought about going to college at all. I, I, went for a job in the city treasury office in Plymouth and got it and started working there. But I was very bored. Mm. And one day the manager said to me, you know, he said, you ought to go back to college. And I thought about it and I had been a brown owl taking a brownie pack. In, in, and, and loved working with the children. And I think that was what decided me on going back to college. So I did. I, I left the city treasury office and um, actually I, I think I came back to Butfuslee for another uh, term or two at Totnes School and applied for college and the next year I went to Stockwell Stop. College, which was in Bromley, Kent. Mm. You mentioned about um, VE Day. What can you remember about the day? Did you have a street party or anything like that? Um, no, I, I can't remember a lot about that because, um, although I'm sure they did have VE parties here, Mm -hmm. and in Plymouth, but I can't say that I can remember that much about it. I've seen pictures of them since, yes. but... Um, did, did, did you, were you aware of any Americans um, around? In the, I was that aware, of the war? that was when um, I was... No. Yes, I remember Americans in Buckfast Lee, mm -hmm. not in Plymouth. And that must have been when I was here before I went to college because I can remember my friend and I helping to serve in a canteen for the Americans which was held in the YMCA and on Saturday mornings we, we went and served them with um, drinks and sweets and that. Mm. What, did, uh, what did the girls think about the American soldiers as opposed to the British? Well, I was just a little bit too young to mm. take any interest mm. in, in them. But I think they liked them because, of course, they gave them lots of presents and mm. things. And the older ones had sort of um, silk stockings and, mm. uh, and sweets and everything like that. So I think they were, they were welcomed here, really.